Hi, welcome to Channel 27. My name is Nicole. I'm here with Heidi today on our channel, and we are going to talk about how astrology will change your life. Because Heidi and I have both been heavily impacted by the studying of astrology and having our charts read. So we wanted to talk about why you might be interested in knowing more about it. Both her and I don't think everyone should be an astrologer, but we do think that everyone can benefit from astrological knowledge and readings. So Heidi, do you want to start and talk about what you think is a big reason why people should be interested in it? Or I can start. Yeah, I can. So I just think that it really helps you understand yourself completely, how you you know, some things you would typically get mad about or frustrated over or, you know, think, why am I this way? Why is this happening to me? It's all aligned. It's, I'm, it's crazy and it's all there. It's all in the charts. It's all in the stars. So, you know, I didn't believe astrology at all whatsoever. And because I was a Virgo and I didn't, I would read Virgo and be like, yeah, that's nothing like me. And then I found this the more depth, like the, how you need your time and this and all that. And it literally just breaks you down to a T. I mean, everything, everything, every life event, it's pretty amazing. So your chart's almost like your roadmap, right? But you're driving, you're driving the car. So if you know something's going to happen or something is this, I mean, nobody finds astrology when they're like babies, I guess, <laughs> not so much, but the younger, I wish personally I would have found astrology when I was like 10, 11, or somebody would have gave me a reading that I would have been like, oh, okay, you know, then I would have made better decisions. So mm -hmm. it's more about understanding it. And then, you know, you know, personally, I like it's control. So I know that's not what everybody says out of it, but me personally, I like to be able to control what's going on around me, meaning whether who's in my life, who's not in my life, and who is, um, who's good to, you know, be in partnerships with, or who's good for certain things. So ever, you can, I mean, you can know anything from astrology. And I just think the more you know, um, the better you can be and the better you can use your life. I mean, it's just the way it is. You also um, really learn how to forgive people. Like now, when I, if somebody does something shitty to me, I'll pull their chart up and I'll be like, oh, it's because of this. Haha, -ha. get over it. Right. So it's, it's literally, it's because of this, because of the, this and this house. Right. And you, you, you no longer like give a shit anymore. There's an answer why they did that. And then you're like, oh, okay, move on. Right. So yeah. But for me, that's what it is. Last thing I would say is the potential. Uh, recently I did somebody's chart that he was in law enforcement. He would have, I gave, so I said to him all these things that he was like, yeah, I guess that I have thought about that, blah, blah, blah. And yeah, you know, long story short, this guy sent me a text message a couple of days ago and said to me, it looks like you might have got this, you helped me get this in gear a little sooner than I thought. And he started this company. I was, I was like shocked. Did I, I don't know if I sent you that message. No. Uh, and I was just like, wow, that's amazing. I mean, to me, that's what I like about it. You know, it gives people something that maybe they weren't confident about, but they always thought about doing it. Um, just like on the leak project, we did those random charts. The girl um, sent, the one girl sent me this message like, oh my God. You're so, that's so true. It just, all I needed to hear was that, you know, that that's was in my path. And, you know, because maybe they would give up. And if you know not to give up, because that power is there. Yeah. And that is, because people, I, I don't, this is me talking from like a business perspective. Everybody's jealous of you. That's how you got to look at everybody. No, nope. everybody can pretend like they're your friend, but the minute you start doing something better than them, typically, or money's involved, that friend no longer can be a friend, right? Now, I don't, I'm not like that at all. And I will say that things change with, with when people, you know, when money and, and 
emotions are on the line. And honestly, you just, you can just know, you just know who to avoid, who not to avoid and don't let anybody get in your way. Cause literally you, you can manifest anything whatsoever with, um, and you can do it probably a little faster once you learn astrology. Yeah, I agree. I feel like it's kind of a catalyst for people who are kind of unsure of themselves that really have a passion for something, especially like nowadays in this culture where a lot of people are told to kind of get like a nine to five job, but they have all these different talents and latent abilities that they're not using. So you can really see like, oh, maybe I should be a musician. Maybe I should pursue this crazy business like that guy did stuff like that. But yeah. I think for me though, I think one of the most valuable tools for astrology, for instance, like even if you don't really want to know your future or um, know more about yourself, like as far as like your own potentials, which I think a lot of people probably do. I think yeah. just understanding astrology and like looking at a bunch of people's charts, especially the charts of historical figures and things like that, is amazing because it can kind of it can kind of make you feel more in control of your own life in the sense that like you understand that some people in history and in your own life have certain karmas to play out and so you become so much less judgmental of people like yeah <laughs> Yeah, because like I would look at charts of people that I knew that would send me their charts. Um, I'm saying this on the video. So, I mean, just like even random people of people that like grew up with a lot of money, for instance, whereas I grew up without a lot of money. But there are people that are born into millionaire families and get everything handed to them. And um, for a long time, when I was younger, especially, I would just be so resentful of people for having money and for having opportunities that I never had. And when you look at their charts, it clearly shows that that was their karma, that they were meant to have great wealth. And according to Vedic knowledge, Vedic thought with um, past lives and karma theory, they might have earned this ability to have a bunch of wealth in their life. Or, you know, like they have the wealth, but maybe there's something difficult they need to play out in regards to having wealth. So you really don't know until you look at the chart what, you know, why they have the wealth. But for me, like seeing, okay, this is what someone else is supposed to have, and this is what I'm supposed to have. So this is what I'm in control of. What is in my chart, I have control of. What's in so-and-so's chart that I was jealous of, um, just like, you know, like a, a famous person, for instance, if you are jealous of famous people, like that's what they have. So I don't have any control over that, which I don't have, but I do have control over all of my talents, all of my blessings in life and all of that. So you kind of take more ownership, not only of like your weaknesses. So like, even if they're financial, but you take responsibility over your strengths because you can clearly see in your chart wow, I have all these strengths that so-and-so rich person will never have. So you learn, okay, these are the strengths I'm going to maximize. Every single life has value. Every single life has purpose. You wouldn't have been incarnated had you not had some role to play in the unfolding of history. And like Heidi said, this is a cat catalyst for you to figure out what your role is and if you're using your strengths to the best of your ability and if you're letting your weaknesses like get the better of you and then if you don't really want to know about yourself just understanding other people's charts and like the charts in history of like historical moments kind of helps you understand there are certain karmas that need to be played out and how can you make your role in history the most productive and become better you know what, Nicole, you, you said something that I feel like I can just say. Then maybe this will just kind of, I'm talking to you personally. So <laughs> when, um, you know, I've fairly, I, I had a pretty easy with money situation growing up. My family always, you know, had money and gave me money and I'd never paid for a damn thing um, until when I was out of school. And then I was like, shit, I got to pay a cell phone bill? What the hell, right? And this might sound, I had different trauma, right? Like mm. other trauma, which was definitely, in my opinion, 
See, and that's where, this is where astrology is so amazing, right? Because I can feel how you feel about that, right? And to me, that was meaningless. Like, I had money all the time. And then I was like, all right, well, how am I going to make money? Like, I'm, how, what am I going to do that even though I didn't even really give a shit at all about making money, I just knew I had a certain lifestyle that I've always had that I wanted to maintain. So I was like, all right, I got to figure this out. And I got into real estate and everybody quit. This is when like the market tanked. And I was like, this is even better. Everybody quit. Oh, now I can learn, <laughs> right? Less competition. So I just always like looked at things from a business perspective. Mm -hmm. But what I realized was uh, all the reason why I wanted to make money was just to say to the people that made fun of me and that said like this or that about me that made me feel like shit. So mine was completely like ass backwards. And when I had all this yeah. money and somebody was like, oh, you can make a hundred grand selling new homes. And I was like, oh, okay, that sounds good. So, you know, well, and I easily did. And it was actually like a joke in my, like when I, when I was started doing it, I was like, are you kidding me? I didn't even believe them. And then I did, I was like 23 years old, right? Everything just came and it was easy and I, but I was freaking miserable. Okay. Never happy in relationships, got sick of everybody. And it's just, so the people that even like have beyond their needs, let's not even say a lot of money. It's like, I'm sitting here a billionaire. That's for sure. Because I also spent money like I thought I was, you know, because it meant nothing to me. So I didn't really value it. Mm -hmm. So but then what happens is when that gets swept and you go through a completely different shape, when you go from living one way to going through a divorce and this, because I left and that's what happens, you learned, I learned a whole nother lesson. Okay, you got to value money, Heidi. You can't be giving money out to everybody like, you know, so... But I still never had that worry. Mine's always been like, why, you know, why can't I find like, why can't I really love somebody? Why can't I really care? Why can't? And to me, that has more meaning. Like, to for me, you, I can see where that can, you know, affect you with, you know, the the financials because it does change your life. Money, money can't buy you happiness, but it does. You know, let's be honest. This day and age, I mean, it's you need it. But yeah. I think that the fact, the beauty of what you have is you just like have a, a spiritual knowledge, which is why you, and you love and you know how to love, I think. And I, I just, this is my opinion, <laughs> but, but I think, I mean, people would like, I'll be honest, like I'd take that any day over like shit. I, I live living, I've literally sit there sometimes and think like, Okay, I'm gonna be like this lonely, miserable woman with cats, but I don't even have cats and I'm not gonna get cats, but <laughs> I don't even mind cats, but I've accepted like I'm gonna be single for the rest of my life and be okay with that. Yeah. But there was a part of me that wasn't okay with that before, and then I just would just get into a marriage, and then it was like so it's it's really just accepting what it is. So I think personally the people that have been raised with like money and that have all the money, they're completely missing out on a lot of things that emotionally they're unfulfilled. That's why they tend to go to drugs or, you know, whatever their other part of their chart. And that's when it can hit the fan. You know, with you, what's, what's so great, I think is you have this and I think you have so many talents that are just like, I don't know, beyond just, it's great. And, you know, maybe you struggled with those things, but you, you don't even know, I think, what's in store for you, like, personally. <laughs> so, but this is me talking because I know your chart and all that stuff, and I think your life's going to change once you stop thinking that way about it, too, right? Yeah. So it's it's funny how we went from talking about in general into, <laughs> <laughs> into my chart. But that's kind of how it works is, like, you start to have, like, actual perspective on your life, though. And that's the thing is, like, before astrology and I mean before not just before Vedic astrology for me but before like even Western astrology and before really getting into um and it wasn't even tarot it was really just astrology so before Western astrology I was a lot more judgmental and I think most people go from like being super judgmental in life and self-centered to more 
<laughs> more humanitarian and like caring about other people in general. Like I think that's kind of the human, um, the human trajectory, but yeah, it's amazing what you can see. And like, you think, oh, this person with a bunch of money is just so, so happy and they have everything because right. Because their Instagram and their Facebook is like them in a fancy house with their perfect spouse and like their perfect baby. But it really isn't like that. And you really see when you look at charts like, oh, all these perfect people are there. Everyone is fulfilling their karma. Everyone has difficulties. Everyone has different trials and their how they look, their body type, all of that is going to be conducive to fulfilling that specific karma. So like you can sit here and tell me about how ugly you think any part of me is, right? Like, oh, you're too skinny, you're too fat, your eyes are too small, whatever, you can say anything. But through this study, I mean, seriously, but through the study of astrology and all the other like spiritual things I've studied, I absolutely 100% believe that the way I look, the way I talk, um, when I'm in my best self, the way I do things, are all meant to fulfill a divine purpose. And everyone has that, and that's incredible. And if we can all get that perspective on our lives, we will treat each other more kindly, or at least we will work towards being that kind of a person. And we will um, think of each day as an opportunity to fulfill our dharma or the, you know, the right path for us in our lives. And we will not waste an entire day doing nothing when we have the energy and the, um, the ability to do something great. So yeah, like Heidi's absolutely correct. She's pulling some like really specific examples, like with me, but and it, everyone's chart has that. Everyone's chart has this specific potential that you can unlock. And Heidi does this in her Vedic coaching. So she actually looks at your chart and she's going to tell you exactly what the potential is and she might be able to point out some different areas that you might struggle in and for all of us it's different like Heidi and I are friends but our struggles no matter like no matter if we are in this together making videos and on YouTube together her experience of life is completely different than mine you know you can also have I have the exact like a very similar chart to another astrologer friend of mine and he, he doesn't look like me. <laughs> he doesn't have the same struggles as me, right? So, yeah. You know, that's, that's funny you say that. My friend Dipti in India, who I met, like, through astrology, and she had the most similar chart to me that I've seen ever. But, you know, just her and me in India, she was in the media, like, production, and, you know, but she was so different than any other Indian. And, you know, I know I'm so different than most any most Americans I mean I'm probably should be in India and she should probably be here that's you know and it's kind of funny that you know I think everybody has certain gifts and certain tools and maybe mine is more that's I think what's so great about us you're more of a spiritual person that you know is I don't know the exact like the exact words to say but you're more of um, bringing up the up like and I'm more of bringing the like that I'm more of getting into the, like the day, like the dirt and the investigations and figuring shit out. And, you know, so I think that's what's so great about you and I both together too, that, you know, you and I both have these gifts they are a hundred percent different, but there are certain similarities about us that we really can help people just by pulling their chart. And I mean, we're not even professional astrologers, so this is just our yet. <laughs> yeah yeah and I never will say I'm a professional astrologer I'm calling it a life coach and that's where we differ you know like I just personally think that you know some people get offended by that word astrology so I realized that when I learned that talking to people this way I'm going to make it a way that can kind of mold to everybody because I get it maybe some people don't want to know that word maybe some people it's again they're scared of it right because they think it's blasphemy or it's whatever so I've and I kind of like look at a way to sell to all and just because I'm in sales and I'm not selling astrology. I don't need to sell astrology. I've sold myself on it a thousand times in a row. I mean, every day I sell myself on it, but I think there are certain things that can really change somebody 100% and make them not as upset with their life or not as upset with um, their family and maybe their trauma that they've dealt with, you know, just somebody that's had an awful life that, 
you know, you look at their, somebody in India that, or somebody in another country that hasn't even been exposed, it doesn't have the opportunities and you're sitting there like, oh, I didn't have this, but really like you could be living that way. Right. And then you're like, shit, God, you know, then that's where it's really amazing. I think. Yeah. So that's pretty much, I think our answers to that question. And I think in the future, we're going to bring some people on to kind of show like, you know, whoever, whoever we have will obviously give us permission to share their chart, but it would be really fun to show some very specific potentials of someone or, you know, maybe a regular person and then maybe someone that's experienced a lot of success so that you can see how this works. Even though I know some of you aren't really going to understand how we're doing it or how it's working, but you'll definitely be able to see the process and you can see what it would be like to kind of figure out your own chart. And maybe you'll decide to learn astrology too. Yeah. And I think that's the, you know, everybody, always, a lot of people always do just, you know, celebrities and political people or somebody in like the limelight, but, I think that's what we need to focus on. It's just like the normal people that you don't see in the media, I guess, or wherever, you know, that it's not as maybe because maybe it can make them have that potential and they can see it and then they go and do it and then they just live a happier life and then we're happy and then we're happy that we're, they're happy, right? We're going to make people really stars. What? <laughs> I said, that's really what we're all about. We're, we, that's, it is what it is. We just want to help. So we're, gonna, we're just going to launch a bunch of celebrities. So, you know, we are. We're, and so if anybody has any good businesses that they're thinking about, we will do their chart and launch it. Yeah. That's what I, I think that's like going to be really fun. Oh yeah. And the other reason, you know, quick before we go, one of the biggest other reasons I think to study astrology and again, this is even if you don't even want to know your chart, you don't want to know your own karma, is that astrology is amazing and it has been used for thousands of years for the timing of events and when to choose the most auspicious or best time to do something. So for instance, if you get married during the waning moon, then it's more likely that, or if the waning moon is a factor basically in transits that are happening in your chart, the marriage is less likely to last. And there are other little things like this. Well, there are like a million things like this that um, can kind of give you more positive energy towards what you're trying to accomplish. And the biggest example of this is like, um, say you're trying to do farming, but you try to do it at night instead of during the day. Well, if you do it during the day, you'll actually be able to see what you're doing. So it's better to do farming when the sun's out. Like that's like an obvious example where you could see that right. influences make a difference. It's a bad example, but that's also well, another thing to look for is, um, or just study astrology. I think another thing too is relationship compatibility. And I love doing relationship compatibility, even though I'm not good in relationships. That's why I'm probably good at doing the compatibility <laughs> charts. Yeah. But I think that, um, you can really learn like, okay, you're, you're stuck with this person and you bring their charts. And when I'm able to tell you things that, you know, you're like, yeah, God, how does she know that? That's what I can't stand about that person. Or, you know, that's what we struggle with or we fight because of this. Then you're like, oh, okay. It's in the chart. So then you don't get as mad at them for that one thing. It is what it is. So you learn how to deal with what you have because some people's karma is to learn how to have a relationship, which is, that's one of mine, <laughs> which clearly I'm still working on it. <laughs> but I'm saying like, you know, you learn how, okay, this will work and this will work. And this is going to be your situation. Whether you have 15 kids with, you know, maybe it's to manage everybody's kids and intermingle kids and just not hate each other's kids. I, I have, you know, seen that like, so there's certain things that you just have to learn that, you know, you're here for that reason, whether you can, de you deal with it or you don't. And sometimes if you don't, you're just going to deal with it in the next life. So you can learn how to live a happier, more productive life in the relationship that you're in than saying, ah, I'm done with this or, you know, maybe ruin something good or, um, you make some modified decisions. So. Yeah, so kind of the summation of this is astrology is really great for people that are wanting to step it up and take responsibility 
in their lives on every single level and to be less judgmental. It's so, so helpful. And you're going to, we're going to keep making these videos. You're going to see more ways that astrology can be beneficial. This is definitely not the be all end all list of why you should be interested in astrology. But if you are curious, um, Heidi is offering readings right now, so you can email her. All that information is going to be below this video. And I do tarot readings for now. I will be offering um, chart analysis readings probably in the future. And I'll let you know about that. But we will be back soon with more to share. Any last uh, one? Yeah, I think. Um, and if anybody has any suggestions that they want to know about and want to talk about and what we should talk about, maybe not necessarily like. In, I mean, we are going to do people's charts. So, you know, in time we will, you know, there's lots of time. We've got time. All, we got a lot of people to cover. But, you know, <laughs> if there's any specific topic that you want to hear about or certain things, um, please let us know so we can um, maybe get some charts like that in advance, you know, and show some examples. So if you want to know why this is this way or what does a chart look like that could be this, you know, we'll, um, we can break those down. Just give us ideas. Definitely. And we'll even talk about tarot too, so you can understand why I use tarot and how I do it. And I think that would be fun. So yeah, like, yeah. And subscribe <laughs> if you want to. <laughs> and don't leave. Don't dislike <laughs> our videos. Don't dislike, just move on. <laughs> yeah, just leave us alone. <laughs> if you don't like us, that's fine. All right, we'll be back in a little while. Oh. Bye. <laughs> Bye.